CGI actually stands for Computer Generated Image, which basically means anything that's created via computer. For us, that means 3D models, 3D creatures. Uh, it's a 3D environment. Although you can't actually sort of sit, put your hands into the screen and mold something yourself, once you, you're okay with the technology, it, it is like your own little world instead of inside a computer. Basically, it does start from a skeleton. Once you've got the skeleton, you know where the main pivotal points are. The key thing is, is working out how, say, legs would move, the difference between, you know, say, the knee, the hip, and all those sort of elements will have a drastic effect on every single dinosaur. Unfortunately, there's no magic button and no magic piece of software that can say, dinosaur walk, ding, you know, make it fierce, ding. I think I've got the fun side of this job, in all honesty. I, I just bring things to life, so to speak. Um, so, yeah, it's, 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 I think it's combining a job and a hobby. Once you've got all those elements together, skeleton, muscles and skin, we then take that to the scientists um, and they analyse where we're coming from, we analyse where they're coming from, we make lots of adjustments and then, theoretically, we end up with a pretty accurate group of movements. Backplates are primarily the background the dinosaur is going to be put into. Sometimes that's created in CG, but more effectively, it's a combination of, of uh, live action shots. Death Trap we filmed in Patagonia in southern Argentina. And hopefully when the footage is shot, someone's taken a note of where the sun was, um, what time of day it was, and from that we can recreate the lights and the shadows so that they match the back plate. Um, and then, fingers crossed, when you render out your dinosaurs, it's like they're really there. What's meant by effects in, in this context with these, with these um, two films, The Autopsy and Death Trap? Um, you've got the very obvious dinosaur animation itself, but in order for them to be placed within the environment onto a back plate, uh, you need things like ground interaction, so dust picking up. And then you've got other things like the volcano and death trap where you've got uh, showers of kind of burning rocks and so forth that we'd add in uh, rather than try and film those somewhere, you'd add those in in the computer. I've, I still maintain that. Rather than being the kind of star animator, I prefer doing all the little subtle, subtle bits that if they weren't there, it wouldn't work without me kind of thing. My three-year-old just thinks it's so cool and so fantastic. I think when the kids are fascinated and you know they're desperate to see stuff, you know you've got a winner.